April 15th, 1982, I took a revolver, ran to a gas station. Thought the intimidation of a gun would produce the money that I was going to steal. On entering the gas station, the owner who had the right to defended the gas station and his property and it was fired upon. And then during the course of the robbery, I fired back through a struggle actually that took place and fired one shot to the chest. facing the death penalty and uh, went on to do uh, 29 years incarcerated in prison. So how old were you Fred back in 1982? I was 18 years old when uh, I committed the crime. I bet my hands were responsible for putting another human being in the crown. I took somebody's son and I realized that I wanted to give back life now. I wanted to do something to offer somebody life that ordinarily would be experiencing and go through what I created. So my life journey today is about people. It's about reaching and giving back to people. Hey Fred. Hey, hey what's, what's up, going on? What's going on, man? Hey man. man. What happened? Is everything good? Again. You going home tomorrow? Yeah, bro. Yeah, oh. they, they, yeah. Remember we were talking about five months? Yeah, the, the governor signed off, man. I, I was just told uh, that that uh, R&R's got my stuff ready, and I'm, I'm believing them all. Oh man, yeah. man, that's right, man. You always been a stand-up guy, man. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's, wow. it's surreal, man. It's, it's a like, long time coming. Yeah, it is. My 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 family's supposed to be there. The training center. Uh, these people that have been, you know. Standing by us, Dennis Martinez, Larry, uh, Joe, uh, they're all supposed to be there, so this is going to be one of the moments, man. How many years has it been, man? It's been almost 30 years, bro. Back in, yeah, back in 1982, that's, that's when I fell, man. Yeah, I'm looking forward to going out there, man, and just one day at a time and reaching, reaching this, these youths, man, letting them know this, this ain't a game. It ain't a game. You can throw your whole life away. Keep you spreading know. the word, man. All right, brother. God, God bless. bless. All right. all those experiences in and out of juvenile detentions. I was state raised since I was a little kid. And people reached out and tried to help and I wasn't listening. Uh, Not especially the uh, law enforcement, the judge, Judge Willis, he came out. Because this is really big. This, is, this isn't this is about us. It really isn't. <coughs> it's about the kids. It's about reaching out to kids, youths, and trying to save another generation. And I just want to just that. That's the freedom that I throw away. That's the freedom that many people throw away ignorantly and not even realize that you forfeit that. I was on a maximum for 34 <coughs> in the prison yard and stayed there. I'll have an aided perjury. Aggravated circumstances, it's a legal term, but it means that because of the uh, uh, fired on first and because it was a type of struggle, it's still first degree murder, it's still the death penalty, and they'll shoot for life without to never make sure you never get out. 
but because of your age. I was supposed to meet my girlfriend that night after I did this robbery. I was living a double life. I wasn't a young man. Right up here. Man. Yeah, I did uh, 14 years right there. You know, as I sit here and I look at this cement bunker, it's what it looks like. It looks like this big old cement bunker. There's, there's about 5,000 inmates here incarcerated. And basically, it's a level four maximum security prison, so you probably got about 70% of these men that will probably never see daylight again. They're all going to die here. If it's not here, they'll be transferred to other level fours and they'll eventually just, their body, they'll get old. What's their going body on? Give out and just... Today we're uh, down here at Calipat. We came from San Diego, California from the training center. And we're here to pick Louis, uh, Louis Flores. He's a Christian brother that um, I spent quite a bit of time here at this prison. He had a three strike, 25 years to life of nonviolent crime. Uh, he's been down 17 years. Uh, I never thought that they'd ever overturn his case. I thought pretty much he was going to die in a level 4 prison with 25 years to life, which is basically a life sentence that he pretty much died inside these prisons. I met Lewis here about uh, probably about 15 years ago. We've known each other for, I'm guessing, over a period of 10 years here at this prison and uh, I was paroled here from this prison three and a half years ago myself and uh, another life sentence was uh, granted parole and I'm really just <laughs> stoked I mean I can't even believe that my brother is gonna come out right now after such a lengthy period and we're actually both gonna greet each other out here and go off that's yep. him yeah. Yeah, boy. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like this good one. Yeah. <laughs> Got that ID with him? This is the prison minister. Okay. Okay. I'll give you Dennis Martinez, you have your ID? Uh, right. This is a song I wrote while well, I was in uh, prison. And, uh, after God had changed my life and uh, blessed me to be able to compose for him, this song is called uh, You Changed My Life. Dedicate this to my memory. You 
sacrificed everything, everything for me. Take up wings. I wanna fly away to be closer to you. When no one's there. A love I never knew Now nothing stands before you I want to worship you I want to lift my voice to you Thank you, Jesus, for doing everything that I couldn't do.